is up everyone? Kate here from MP Tennis. Hope you guys are doing great today. Racket review time for you guys. Today we have the Wilson Shift. Look at this racket. Now doesn't this look cool? This is the Wilson Shift folks. For you that do not know, this is a prototype racket from Wilson uh, and they're gathering some feedback on it. Um, it's Wilson Labs. I don't know if you can kind of see in here. The specs on this are 300 uh, grams, 99 square inch, and they really didn't give the other specs of it. Uh, so I don't really know what's going on here. I'm sure I could go on Tennis Warehouse and kind of find that stuff, but I don't know them off the top of my head because they're kind of secret. So this is what we're talking about today. Um, just a little couple housekeeping items. Don't forget to like and subscribe. You're here. Just go down, scroll, click, like, and subscribe. It's going to help us a lot. We want to get to 10,000 subs giving you guys lots of good content, I hope, um, and I hope you guys are enjoying that. So we got lots of great videos coming out. Chasing 13 series is coming back. Um, by the time this video is out, I don't know if it's gonna be before or after the video that we have just shot, but definitely lots of things to be excited for on the channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe. But, ladies and gentlemen, this is a very exciting re review. You guys can see the smile on my face. This racket is incredible. Um, it's insane. Like, I'm kind of speechless. This racket I might switch to. Um, I'm just gonna say it out there for you guys because I know we've been on a little bit of a racket journey and this one, this is a good racket. Uh, I'll get in, I'll just stop saying it's a good racket and I'll actually explain why I think it's a good racket. It's not for everyone, but it definitely is fitting my game right now. So, first couple things, strung up with Slingo Confidential at my tension, 54-52. Uh, I also demoed it with Luxalon Alu Power, big banger, uh, 16L, and that played very nice as well. So yeah, this racket is kind of in my wheelhouse because it is a 99 square inch. I can't remember, I may have said 98 earlier. This is a 99 square inch uh, racket. And it's light, so my Extreme Tour stock form is light. So I had to customize it. So of course, I demoed it stock first, but felt it could use some weight. It does need some weight. So we have some weight here at three and nine. Uh, pretty good little chunk, I would say. We're about, about nine centimeters here, nine centimeters here, nine and nine. So, and then also I evened it out here in the grip. So it's probably, I didn't, I, I can't weigh it, you guys. That's the one thing I'm sorry about. I can't weigh it. Um, I don't have a scale, so can't help you out in that department. I got a dampener on here as well. Wilson Pro Overgrip. I'm giving you guys all the specs because this racket plays very good. Uh, why do I like this racket? From forehands in the back, I can do whatever I want with this racket on the forehand and on all the ground strokes. I can hit spin, I can hit flat, I can, and it just goes. It just goes where I want. It's ridiculous. Um, I can hit height, like very high over the net. The launch angle is bizarre because it's allowing me, and this is something we talk about in a lot of different rackets, pure arrows, pure drives, Wilson burns, E zones. Uh, v cords they have high launch angles. I tend to gravitate towards medium to high launch angles because I like to play with spin sometimes, but I also like to flatten it out. But I don't love rackets that are very low launch angles, although they're fun to play with. So here we're talking about Prestiges and uh, Pro Tour 2.0s and Wilson Blade tight patterns and stuff like that. I tend to I would like to be able to play with those rackets, but sometimes they don't work for me. But this racket's launch angle is strange because it's like you can do whatever you want with it. And that's the scary part because it's so good. Like I can hit flat with it and make the launch angle low. And then I can hit really heavy spin and it's all of a sudden high. So it does it all. And I've never played with a racket that has allowed me to do that. So I know they have some interesting technology going on. Something about the flex in the racket. It's able to flex this way and it's also able to flex this way. I don't know any of the special names or technology behind it. I just know that it does that. And normally tennis rackets only flex one way and I forget what way that is. So 
Maybe you guys can tell me in the comments. But I know that that is something that it is one of a kind of, and I think that might be have to do that must have something to do with the launch angle because it's ridiculous, it's crazy. So anyway, four hands. I felt like I could do anything with it. Can I could just rip it? So A plus on the four hands. I don't even know what to say. Uh, back hands really solid, especially once you add the lead. I was just cracking it. Um, like, I'm really speechless, guys. Like, this racket is something else, especially if you're in the wheelhouse for this kind of a racket. But once again, I can hit topspin. I can hit the slice. I can hit flat through the court like I like to on my backhand, and it worked out. Um, and all these things have easy depth. Um, this racket gave me easy access to depth, which is something I'm searching for right now. Uh, sometimes I feel like when I'm playing, my balls land a little bit short. And this made my life extremely easy, and I was still swinging out. And even when I wasn't swinging out, they were still landing deep, which is so weird. Because normally when you're not swinging out, the ball lands short. Um, so this racket is kind of a hack for me right now, and I, I'm here for it. So anyway. Love the access to depth, that's a big plus for me. If we come up to the net, this is the best racket I've ever had up at the net. No joke, A++++++. It's so solid, I can just, it's like a, it's like a magic wand. Like, I'm up there and it's like, bah, bah, bah. It's so solid on the drop volleys. When I wanna uh, punch a volley cross or, or right at the guy, it's there. It's crazy. Like. Whew, I gotta take a breather here because I am so passionate about this racket. Um, so anyway, volleys, overheads, extremely solid, A+. Now this is where I get even more excited because we're talking about the serve with this racket. Um, on the serve, I probably hit the hardest flat serve ever. It would have had to have been like 130 or something. I was cracking it and it was like in. Like sometimes you're hitting hard with some rackets, but it's it's landing out. They weren't landing out, they were in, and they were hard and fast, and they were giving me free points, and I'm here for that. Also, the access to spin on this racket is the best on serve out there right now, in my opinion, and that is saying a lot, because you guys know, my loyal subs, how loyal I am to my extreme tour on my serve. I love it on my serve. And this is better on serve than that. The kick serves I was able to hit, oh, so good. Um, just incredible. The only knock I would maybe give it is on return, just a tiny bit. Like overall, it was solid. Like it was, it was above average even. So. I would give it like an A on returns. But I mean, if you're getting an A on returns and that's the worst part of the racket, that's pretty good. And then I want to shout out this racket for one thing, and that is the one-handed backhand. If you have a one-handed backhand, folks, buy this racket right now. This racket is insane for one-handed backhands. I was like going to switch to a one-handed backhand when I was demoing this racket. I was like smacking it. It was so good. Like this racket, I think I might switch to it. I'll keep you guys updated, but this this could be a very, very dangerous weapon for so many people. The access to depth, the launch angle, creativity we'll call it, and the feel in the touch it is in the spin potential when you, when you want it, is it's nuts. So anyway, ladies and gentlemen, this is the Wilson Shift, and it looks pretty cool too. It's unique. Once again, Selenko Confidential 5452, also demoed it with Lux ALU. We got the dampener on here. We got lead at three and nine, countered in the grip, Wilson Pro Overgrip. This is quite the racket. And I don't even know what to say anymore because it's so good. Um, I'll keep you guys updated. I might switch to this um, because it's so good. So. Thank you for watching, and definitely get your hands on a Wilson shift because your mind will be blown. We'll catch you guys in the next one.
Hey guys, update on the shift. It's been about a week and a half since I had played with it and I did play with it a little bit more and sadly, it did hurt my arm. I don't know what happened. It really sucks because that racket was a beauty. I'm gonna try and tinker with it maybe in a few weeks again after we play some matches, but really upsetting to be honest that um, it hurt my arm. There was really nothing I could really do about it. I tried it with two different strings, uh, but maybe we can try and figure something out because that racket was insane.